Hey everyone. This is probably the fastest video I'm ever gonna show you. Sometimes big things come in little packages. So this is a really short video and I hope you enjoy it and I hope you do it. Do you have any hydrangea bushes that are done? Like that's not a pretty color. It is kind of if you want that rustic look. But I cut these off my bush. Now I'm just pulling off the leaves. They're already dried because they dried right on the bush, but they're brown. So you just pull all those leaves off. Sometimes there's little leaves way up in here. So make sure you get them off because the leaves will not dry very well. So now you have some hydrangea flowers that you could put in a vase just like this, or you can do this. All right, we're gonna try and get this done before it turns dark, but just thought you had to see my beautiful sunset that I have. Not a lot of people see the sunset. That's mine. All right, let's head to the garden. We're getting ready for winter here. So the patio is cleaned off. Not much stuff there. A few plants. We have to go find, there's another barn. Look at that view. You like that view? Okay, heading over here. I have my Annabelle hydrangea bush over here. Oh, the sunset is reflecting in my window. It's right over there behind that pine tree. Look at that sky. Isn't it beautiful? Okay, so here we are. Here's Annabelle. She's got a bunch of dried ones on here. All you're gonna do is just clip it off. Can't do this while holding the camera. Clip that off. See that dried hydrangea? That's what you want. Some of these are a little green yet. They're not as crunchy. Like here's one. It's not as crunchy, so if you take this one off, it'll stay this color. It won't turn brown. So you can clip them early. We do have the most amazing sunsets here and not a whole lot of people get to see them on a normal basis. So I thought I'm just going to do some B-roll here and I'm going to give you this sun going down. It's coming out of the clouds. And it doesn't take long. As the sun goes down, everything gets a glow to it. Even the other way. Look at that glow. Look at the glow on our shop. And look at the glow on that barn over there. Here's the dried up hydrangea and we're going to spray it. I'm using two times spray. It's a tad windy out here, so I'm standing upwind. I'm gonna let it go that way. Always make sure that you shake your spray can very well. This red's gonna match that barn. And my coat. Then you're gonna just hold it by the stem and spray. You can spray them as heavy or as light as you want. Look at that beautiful hydrangea now. We went from this to this. 
in just a few seconds. Then you let them dry. I really like that red. We're gonna make some for Christmas. We'll do one more. How pretty is that? I did have white. I found it. We're going to spray this one white. Either wear a mask or stay upstream from all that wind. You don't want to breathe this in. I thought of something. Why can't we put some glitter on them? I'm going to use some clear. And I'm going to spray. to hold them together. And I'm gonna take this glitter and sprinkle it. Then I'll give them a little shake Take some of that glitter off and they're glittery. Here's one of the ways I use these red and white hydrangeas. I made a faux Christmas tree. Complete with glitter on all those hydrangeas. You can use these in your pots, you can use them in your house, and when you're done, they're easily thrown away. So this video did involve paint, just not my DIY paint. If you would like any DIY paint, you can order it on thepaintphotographer.com. Or if you like this short little video and you want to see more of my videos, hit the subscribe button and you'll be notified every time that I go live. Now look at these. This is what the end product looks like. So much better than those brown hydrangeas. This one, this is the coral and it has some of that brown look in it still, which I love that look. See, told you it was gonna be the shortest video ever, but isn't that sweet? There you have a nice fall decoration. You can even paint these red for Christmas. And uh, when you're done with them, throw them away. Or keep them. You can make a wreath out of them as well, if you have enough of them. Just bust it off down here a little bit and attach it to a wreath form. So you would attach them like this all the way around your wreath form. So easy and something you probably have in your backyard that's not being used right now. Make something ugly into pretty. And these are pretty, don't you think? If you like this video, please give me a subscribe and a thumbs up. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends. Next, I'm going to be painting the snowman and I'll teach you how. Okay, until next time, happy painting.